From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of MLB superstars will eventually emerge. Determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. It's the first game in the month of June between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Brian Liriano, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. The one-two. Taylor made to short. Six to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. Into the box, Blake Alamond. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. He's set. The 0-1. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So no runs on three hits. Into the box now. Vaughn Harris comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Rip down the line. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Guys, you know what we call that? We call that turn and burn. That's a bullet single down the third baseline. Third baseman's not able to make that play. Can't make that play. He's playing almost bunt defense, fearful of having to come get something. That ball was hit way too hard. Batting four. The third baseman. Fouled away. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Wyatt Matheson becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team they won their last game they scored a bunch of runs and let's see if they continue that today coming down in buckets cats and a swing and a miss slide, that slide. retires the side and that will do it stepping into the box now Vaughn Harris and he's got a chance to tie this Whoa. ball game up with that equalizing Harris. run just 90 feet Come away on, at third. On something here <laughs> First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. The run scores from second. It's a 3-2 to two ball game. Hey, Dan Batter drives in two right there to give his team the lead. This looks like it's going to be a little bit back and forth. As a pitcher, how do you stop the bleeding? Now, the one thing you have to do is just concentrate all you can to try to get that first hitter out of each inning. This has the makings like this is going to be one of those seesaw affairs. Now batting, third baseman, Wyatt. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Three runs already home here. A letter rip, one side. Seared down the first baseline. 
But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two count. Here's the pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Hey, nice now patient. would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Yep. Two and two. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Shoots this one over to first. And Hold a right backhanded there. Pick reach at first, but he can't flag it down. The relay, but he gets back in time, safe at second base. The right fielder, number 13. Jet. And he looks at one in there, one and two. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. High fly ball out to straightaway center. You're scoring. Keller is there, and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Patrick Leonard. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now to the plate, Blake Alamon. Go. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Blake. last time. Alamon. The bouncer one, one, one. to the left side, scooped up. Throw gets him, two down. Coming to the plate now, Blake Alamon. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set. The 2 2. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are all tied at three apiece. Digging in once again, Vaughn Harris. Two three. base hits, both singles Vaughn. to this point. Harris. First offering on its way. Nice hit, nice hit. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. This will kick up against the wall now. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. The count now at two and one. From the belt, the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Fastball in there, three and two. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. He froze him on the fastball there. Wyatt Matheson is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Swung on and missed, one and two now. And that's going to be high two and two now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about now shortening back. up and Let's putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, as a pitcher, you never want to hit a guy, but he's been struggling early, and the hitters have owned the inside part of the plate, so maybe this will help him reclaim the inner half and start to become more effective. Has to command it in there, though. 
Your Here comes the please. manager out of the first base now, dugout please, heading for the mound. Number and he's going to motion six. for his bullpen here. Aaron. That'll do it for the starter Number tonight. Six. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Rene Martinez will be the first one to greet him and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Here you go, seat up, let it fly. Let's go now, what's that? The 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Good one right here. There you go. Let's Here's fly. the one two. And it's fouled away. Right, Tolbert, the now. runner at one third. Harris fly. at second. Pompey on at first with two right down. There. Line drive to center field. Round it hard. Round it Keller hard. Is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So they load the bases on just one hit, but three men are left stranded. We played four full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Digging in, Chad Spanberger. A couple of walks for him thus far. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And on the ground, out to second. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. In now, Vaughn Harris. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Yeah, the pitching coach takes a stroll out to the mound, and with the pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason, and to trust what got him here is good enough to get him through this. Now batter, the third baseman. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back safely. Let's go. Popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. So stepping in, David Freitas, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Eyes here as he's going to try to lay one down. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Your attention, please. Now coming into pinch hit. Now one down now. Tyler one down. You win. Hit one back one. up the middle. He's got it. Throw gets him for the second out, but meanwhile, the tying run is in to score. I like that he didn't. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Blake Alamond. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Hit one, down one, one. the line at first. And he'll step oh. on the bag himself, and the inning Wait, is go. over. Get Nine men come to the plate, the however. Five Double of them seven. score. Correct. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. And the visitors are out in front here, eight to four. Into the box now, Vaughn Harris. Two outs and two runners aboard here Vaughn. in the seventh inning. Harris. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Swung on. Hit in the air. And deep. Got a chance. And gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. And a one-time magic number. 61 home runs on the season now. And it's now an 8-7 ball game.
Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Chad Spanberger. Now the payoff pitch home. For a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Standing in, Cooper Hummel. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Hummel. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Vaughn Harris. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Now the fastball was swung on and missed. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Segovia is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. The Biloxi Shuckers capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Josh Green is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy. So whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. In time to first, and there are two away. Striding into the box, Vaughn Harris. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First offering on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So here now is the pitcher, Thomas Jenkins. And he may instead be asked to bunt. We'll see how they approach the situation with one away. Surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mark Mathias. Now batting. Second baseman, Mark Mathias. Now the 2 1 pitch. In the inning, is it sent out to second? Scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And the visiting club leads it 2 to nothing. So digging in now, Chad Spanberger. Now batting, the first baseman, Chad Spanberger. One down, one down. One and two, here it comes. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the speed threat, Vaughn Harris. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Out of here into the visitor's bullpen.
So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number 62 on the year. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay. So striding forward now, Weston Wilson. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Hit on the ground to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Yuanhil Segovia, a hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the 0-1. Hit on toward the left. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Skyler Ewing will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. All even at two and two. Here it is. Softly hit out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the bottom of inning number six. And the visitors are out in front here, two to one. At the plate, Vaughn Harris. The first baseman number three, Vaughn. Harris. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B., how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Stepping into the box, Vaughn Harris. Number three, Vaughn Harris. First pitch on its way. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, and the lead is now 7-2. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Ro, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah. The... Stepping in, Skyler Ewing. The He's 0 for 2 in the yep. ballgame so far. Skyler Ewing. Here's the 0-1. Hit out towards two. second. Reined in. Out. One there. Oh. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And hey, set to go as the third baseman, the third Weston base. Wilson. Mine to the right side. A leap, but two, he can't two, bring two. it down. Base hit. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Hey, just a nice piece of hit. Settling in now, now Mark back. Mathias. The runner in scoring base. position with Mark. two gone. Mathias. On the ground to third. He's right there. Throw on the first, and the ball game is over. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his tenth save of the season right there. Nice job. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Generals get their 20th home win this year. Matt Brill earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Trevor Clifton closes the door for the save, his tenth. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleasak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Jackson Generals. Seven runs, seven hits, one error. They left eight runs. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. 
Taylor Clark, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more, so this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So coming to the plate, Vaughn Harris. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now here's a fly oh, ball. Well hit. Go. Looking up, up is the get center up, fielder. And now over the wall. And this is going to be ruled a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. And that's home run number 64 on the season as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Stepping in, Chad Spanberger. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Hey, here we go. Spanberger. On the ground to first, we'll see if they can get two. To second for one, relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So one run on two hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. On now to the bottom of the second. The Generals lead it 3-1. to one. Ready to take his hacks again. Vaughn Harris. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So Come on, I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Line drive. That's a base hit into score, the right center score. field Come gap. On, Thomas is on his way home. He will score as they extend their lead to two. And he is hung out to dry as they tag him out. Leading off the inning, Yuanhel Segovia, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something. Digging in to try it again. Manny Benitez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-2. Put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit. No errors and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Jackson leads this one 4-2. Coming to the plate now, Vaughn Harris. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, and he certainly got the wheels trying to stretch a double into a triple, but it's sort of a killer to the club when you can't leg it Come on, out. Baby. See it up, drive. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! So a solo shot down the line in left. His second home run of the game. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone.
standing in, Mark Mathias. No Not hits bad. to this point. Hey, what a Mark Mathias. Take your first now. Here comes the 0 1. The ground out to short. He's got it. And there's out number two. Ready now, Skyler Ewing. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Skyler Ewing. Now here it comes. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting, Vaughn Harris. Two home runs three. and a double to his credit Wrong. thus far, having Harris. quite the game. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. First pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Left fielder looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a two-run shot to left center. His third home run of the ball game. And the lead is now 7-2. Well, if you would have told him when he woke up this morning that he was going to hit three home runs tonight, he would have thought he was dreaming. Well, it's a dream night, but he's won. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Devin Hairston. Two for three with a double on his line so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners. Hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Scooped up. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now at the plate, Alec Keller. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Keller. Rounded back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to... Ready to take his hacks again. Vaughn Harris Vaughn. as he'll look to follow up Harris. the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Talk about having a game of a lifetime. In his last at bat, he hit his third home run of the game. You know walking up to the plate right now, he's thinking about hitting number four. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Row, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making hey, better pitches. Pitch. No yeah, better just right great now. approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he fouls this one off. The next 3-2. On a rope to the second baseman. On to first, a double play. So it's no runs on two hits. No. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Jackson Generals hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Taylor Clark with his fourth win this season. Trevor Clifton hammers down the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans are by the line score. First for the victorious Jackson Generals. Seven runs on 14 hits. No errors.
Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Now at the plate, Vaughn Batting Harris. Third. He did not the play last man. night, but clearly Vaughn. back in the starting nine for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a shot toward the gap in left it's center. Got it. got it. Two, two, two. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Batting four. The third baseman. Two balls and two strikes now. No one out with a runner at second. Hey, you get one up there, huh? Now a spin and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Yasmani Tomas is on deck. Got a rip right here. Spin and a throw back to second. A dive, but he's back. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. 3-2 pitch. Let it fly right here. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Here's Yasmani Tomas. He's hoping to break out of the slump he's been stuck in. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Oh, square up on that That's ball. what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting this baseball back. Digging in for his second at bat, Weston Wilson. For the series, he's three for 12. Weston. From the stretch. Punt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And he'll oh. step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave. Digging in, Manny Benitez. Like Fielder, number 15. Manny Benitez. The one-two. Sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. To second for one. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So here's the cleanup hitter, Patrick now Leonard. Third baseman, Patrick Leonard. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. This two, is on two. the ground to first. Could be two. Out. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Generals are on top, three to one. Digging in now, Vaughn Harris. He'll try to follow the up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to AB. Here it comes. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that one is gone.
So a solo shot here to left center field. Big number 67 on the year as it's now a 4-1 to one ball game. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Scott Sunich. The pitcher. Scott Sunich. Off liner towards first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Generals lead it 5-1. to one. Digging in and looking for more, Vaughn Harris. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Center fielder looking up. On to the lawn and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His second of the game. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now in the box, Manny Benitez. The right fielder, number 15. Manny Benitez. Two, on two. the ground is short. Could be two. There's He's one. Out. Relay to first He's in out. time. And just like that, the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half. Vaughn Harris will stand in the looking for home run number, number three. three as we take Vaughn. it back to inning number four. Harris. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. pitch of the at bat hit pretty well out toward right center field center fielder giving chase he tracks it down and that will end the inning stepping up to the plate Alec Keller hey, we got one out here. the center fielder Alec Keller ground to the left side reined in to second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Digging in, Alexander Alvarez. He's one for two in this one. Alexander Alvarez. Third baseline. Fielded cleanly. And a low throw, but he's able to look this one right into the old breadbasket as he hangs on to end the inning. As we go to break, another look at a throw nicely handled at first. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Stepping up now, Vaughn Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went Harris. deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Liner into right move. center. That's a base hit. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And the runner will score from second. The relay throw. The tag, and he's out going for third. That ends the inning, but two runs. 
Ready for another chance? Alec Keller. He was a double play victim Alec last time around. Keller. Yeah, and another double play right here would certainly end this game. Up, See up, if they up. pitch him the same way. Hard in, soft away. Harris is, is there for it. Ten to one, the final lopsided score in this ball game. The Jackson Generals posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Cole Stapler earned his ninth win of the year. Scott Sunich was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans are by the line for first. This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a long time trusted, but a fledgling must leave the nest for a big world awaits.